So here we have the Ford Echo Sport on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot space first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls, as I mentioned, uh, on the inside of the vehicle from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter and then on the right side, the speedometer. Uh, in the centre at the bottom, you can see the fuel gauge and above that, uh, the coolant temperature gauge and the trip computer for the car, which includes the total miles. They are 49,891. You can change the information that's displayed there by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have our stereo and phone controls. We have our cruise control and then over into the center the stereo and the screen for it directly above that so uh, you're looking at the main menu just there you can uh, of course uh, pair up your phone to the car once you've done so you're able to make and receive phone calls you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly via bluetooth audio which you can see on the screen just there you can plug in an auxiliary input and as you probably noticed a usb device uh, this car's got a cd player and of course the radio. We have AM and FM radio available to us. Uh, to pay your phone, hit the phone button just here. We've got our auxiliary, Bluetooth audio and USB here. Uh, of course, your radio and your CD player. Main volume for the stereo is just there. Working our way down, we have climate control. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, the direction the air is being distributed in once it enters the car. You can turn your air conditioning off. Back on again or hit auto, the car will then take full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. You can override that whenever you wish to. We have some storage down the bottom here, our five speed manual gearbox, a 12 volt charging socket, and then USB and auxiliary inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you.